All right, people, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way, you'll know when I upload the next video and you'll be supporting my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Every time I upload a new video, I'll be tweeting. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your reaction. This is God Hand Review. B thugs, demons, women. Oh God! All right. News flash. Big guy, you can wax on, wax off all you like. I'm still kicking your ass. Brought to you by ExpressVPN. Okay. So this is a, another review from Sets and Tech, right? Uh, his reviews are incredible. It doesn't matter which game it is, right? But sometimes, you know, the incredible RPG element of the game helps because uh, anytime there is so much things to do in any game, Seth just have, you know, field day with that. So, yeah, let's see which, which one this is. Remember, if you like my Rick's and Fortnite, subscribe so I know which type of videos to react to more. And check out the Rick's and there's a link in the description. Check out the cards and cards in here. Let's watch it. Hey, hey, people, Seth here. Today, I'll be covering a game that was overshadowed during its release, bombarded by critics, and loved by absolutely everyone who isn't complete garbage at video games. A game which grinds through your analog sticks like butter, encourages healthy eating, respecting women, and emphasizes the virtues of a good Samaritan principle. I'm speaking, of course, about God Hand, a game I was too impoverished to play as a child, since we couldn't afford a PlayStation. But now my PC is powerful enough to be a PlayStation. Through the magic of emulation, <clears throat> God Hand can be played very comfortably on... I know what he meant, that his PC is now powerful enough that he can use a PlayStation emulator. But as soon as I heard that first, I don't know, as a PC guy, I got a bit triggered. Like, mm, PC is much powerful than PlayStation. On your own computer and it works great the simple gist of the game is the following you play as gene a guy with a fancy jacket and an insatiable appetite for fresh fruit you're also disabled because your right arm has just been cut off by demons but you've got a new arm now instead the god hand thanks to olivia a girl who threatens to chop it back off if you don't do what she says and now it's time to beat the shit out of all the thugs and demons responsible for disarming you but you'll need to master the god hand to stand a fighting chance because this game doesn't play around it's hard it's very hard and it only gets even harder in this universe the vast majority of punks metalheads and women want nothing more than to beat the shit out of you instead the fighting system is easy to learn but insanely difficult to master for a start gene operates on tank controls which might seem bizarre but makes perfect sense once you understand the purpose of it the left stick turns and moves you around the right step i don't think i ever play japanese nm type of games a lot i know there are lots of famous games one but i mean it's distinctive right you can really see which one is which i mean it has always this kind of a ridiculous fight over the top fighting style right and more than that it is ridiculous i guess uh, you know models of women right that, that makes no sense of walking around in bikinis and shit like what the fuck is designed exclusively for dodging. The other buttons let you use your techniques. Pretty simple, right? Wrong. Each of your buttons can be instantly remapped to do different moves and techniques. There's a lot of techniques. There's 117 of them you can pick up during the story or buy from your local convenience store. If you choose poorly, you won't even be able to dispatch normal enemies, let alone bosses. But that's not all. There's a bar at the bottom. All right, I'm not gonna lie. That element right there just fucking sold me this game right that you know animation to dodge things every time a game basically gives you abilities extremely detailed abilities to be perfect right like if you really put time and your expertise i mean you, you learn shit you can be invincible nobody can even touch you that kind of thing right because you are dodging now right uh, dodging every attack it's like why you know uh you know uh, yeah Fucking hell, I even forgot the game's name. Demon Souls, what the, what the fuck is the game's name? Right? I don't know. I, I can't remember right now. Those games are fucking incredible, that's why. Because you have to dodge at the perfect time, right? Otherwise, you die. And that feels like a skill, right? Like, if you export that skill, you're like, holy shit, nobody can do this shit. That kind of achievement feeling. So, whenever a game has that kind of element where you have to perfectly dodge in a different way, right? And perfectly attack in a different way to be most effective. Games like those combat systems like that is fucking incredible bottom of your screen that's your 
tension meter. The more hits you land, the more damage you do. The more damage you do, the quicker the tension meter gets filled up. Once it fills up, your right arm starts glowing. And if you smack the right button on your controller, you unleash your god hand. The powers of a god are temporary, but in this short span of time, Jean is completely invincible, lightning fast, and hits twice as hard while your theme song plays in the Isn't back. Isn't this like Iron Fist or whatever? Iron Fist, right? That Marvel uh, show? Marvel comic thing, Iron Fist, yeah, Iron Fist, isn't this like that, has a uh, glowing fist that does massive damage. Crowned, it's amazing, but that's not all. Picking up cards during your fights fills up your roulette wheel, which triggers whenever you smack the right trigger instead. In this state, everything goes slow-mo, and you get to choose from a selection of every roulette move you have equipped. This can be anything from a ball buster, head slicer, hundred punch combo, or even a dragon kick that sends your enemies flying out of a solar yeah, system. Like as a word of thing. caution though, Ball Buster doesn't work on women, robots, or one <laughs> of the first two bosses because he <laughs> What? It doesn't work with women, I didn't know they would put that kind of detail in it. Usually a game has this kind of a feature where they have, you know, this kind of a, you know, attack happens. It, it affects everybody similar, right? I think Saints Row has, uh, Saints Row 3, a certain type of attacks like that, it affects everyone. I'm like, what the fuck? lost his testicles in the war. The lore of God Hand is very deep, but the fighting system goes even deeper. Most games increase the health of your enemies to give you the illusion of difficulty. God yeah, Hand I hate that. does no such thing. The better you do, the more hits you land and the more hits you dodge, the higher your level becomes. What does this mean? It means enemies start kicking your ass. As level increases, so do their abilities. They start using moves you've never seen before. They start changing their patterns to throw you off, and they start getting more and more aggressive as they try and put you in the ground. There's four That's levels awesome which are thing. quite self-explanatory. Level 1, Level 2, Level 3, and Level Die. If you get to Level Die, you are expected to die. If you don't want to die, I suggest you get on your hands and knees and start groveling for mercy. God Hand doesn't play around, but if you take the time and improve, you'll learn You growl and then level downs. Is there a game that actually, you know, put your feet above the fire? Like, you better be good or I'll make you feel shitty inside the game. Like, this is what I want, right? After a hard day's work coming home and a game making me growl in front of uh, assholes. And then, you know, telling me that I'm not good enough. This is what I want, right? <laughs> the features are ridiculous. Learn how to take the heat, and when you do, I assure you, you'll feel like an actual god. There's an overpowering sensation of ecstasy once you've figured <laughs> yeah, it out. Seriously. After getting creamed repeatedly by the same boss, by the same encounter, it all suddenly clicks. And once it clicks, <laughs> you can't go this back. Is you ride this is too good. I don't know, look at that. It all the stomping is too suddenly good. clicks. And once it clicks, <laughs> you can't go back. You ride on pure adrenaline and muscle memory to repeat the same fight, and this time, you're not surviving, you're styling on your enemies. Before you know it, it's already over, you've won, and you're only left hungry for more. God Hand was very progressive for its time, and it features a very diverse and multicultural cast. The first boss you go up against is, literally, two gay guys who proposition Gene. Gene responds by saying, I'm not that kind of guy. But as the story progresses, and Olivia keeps slave-driving Gene into doing more more and more ridiculous stunts at the cost of his health and personal safety, Gene looks back and considers that maybe I am that kind of guy. Character development isn't exclusive to Gene alone. The second boss you face, Elvis, is a Mexican demon struggling with weight loss. He's got some of the best dialogue in the entire game. A la mierda. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? I'm getting a bit hungry. And a little huevon sounds like it would hit the spy. I don't think you realize what you're getting yourself into, pendejo. Besides educating Gene on the basics of the Spanish language, pendejo, 
Elvis turns out to be a big softie, who's as much of a victim to his circumstances as is Gene to his unwanted responsibility. He hates people who disrespect the dead, and he also hates people who disrespect his demon waifu, Shannon, who you repeatedly encounter and spank to death. By the end of the game, Gene has arguably found more humanity and common ground with the antagonists he faces than the repeatedly ungrateful woman he's working for. God Hand is extremely quotable. Thank you! Thank you. And extremely memorable. Just <laughs> line up at the window. In no small part because all of the enemies keep quoting Mike Tyson. The game is an absolute meme, but originally was never designed as such. The developers just put some humor in the trailer for the 2008 E3 conference, but received such positive feedback that they went back and remade the game into the masterpiece it is now. It was, unfortunately, the last game ever made by Clover Studios. However, most of the team went on to work with Platinum Games, which was responsible for most of the crazy fighting games that came out in recent years. It's got insane amounts of replayability, and it's something I always come back to after every few years. It's just that good. It's also very easy to miss some of the subtleties on your first run. For example, Chihuahua Racing. In the main menu, you can always pop into the store, casino, and fighting arena to practice your moves. But after a certain point in the story, you can also start gambling on, you guessed it, poison chihuahuas. This is a very easy way to quickly lose all your money, or make back 20 times your original bet if you know what you're doing. My only advice, always bet on Clover. You'll thank me later. Also, enemies have special interactions if you satisfy certain conditions. If you manage to get one of the average, run-of-the-mill thugs down to no health at all, he'll start faking a seizure and begging for help. If you foolishly get too close, he'll kick Gene in the ball sack. Wait a minute, is that a durably reference, right? I don't know, Eddie Guerrero, I think, does that, right? Rick Fly type of thing. That feels like a WWE type of reference. Reducing your health to a single point instantly. I also found out if you get a demon down to a single pip of health, you can poke them. They'll explode. There's probably more, but even as someone who's played and beat the game repeatedly, I can't call myself an expert. Even after all this time, Level Die turns me into a crying, sobbing little bitch. And there's no shame in admitting that. Some of the original reviewers of this game, however, cannot. And for that reason, Imagine Babies still holds a higher score on IGN than God Hand, a game that turned many boys into men, and turned many men into crying, sobbing little children. For that reason alone, I give it a very good score. But when I consider that it's a goddamn masterpiece, I give it a perfect score. To reiterate the words of one presenter, one epitaph for Clover Studio. We made one of the best games of all time, and it was just a game about punching people. God Hand. It's amazing, it's addictive, and it's very satisfying. Respect the game, and it will respect respect you back. Highly recommended. Go play it. In lieu of the fact that you can't actually get a copy of God Hand anymore, I've linked it in the description below, which contains the game, the emulator, and everything you need to get started. But Seth, don't you need a working PS2 bias to emulate God Hand? Which I hope you've legally obtained from your own PlayStation 2? These are all good questions, and they will be answered shortly. But more importantly, what's Seth been spending all of his sponsorship money on? I'll tell you. I hired- Seriously, I was just thinking like, hmm, he's talking about emulators, he's giving game copies, hmm. He's not a, he's just not a small guy. I said that in one of the videos too, like, what the fuck, he could get trouble with this one every hentai artist to make lewd commissions of Olivia getting dicked because there's too little god hand hentai. All this shilling was for a good cause. I've linked every commission I made in the description below. I hope you understand the ends justify the means. But even more importantly, if you're unfortunate enough to be living in the Sharia state of Britain, the UK porn block is going to start July this same year, all in the name of protecting our 
our children, which, if statistics are anything to go by, need protection from their family instead. And based on how well government projects usually go, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Just present your personal ID card, punch in- <clears throat> Seriously, I mean, uh, that, that, that is a really great fact, right? Pawn ban. First of all, if children grown enough to, so, you know, search pawn in any way, I'm pretty sure they can get around it, but, right? VPNs are any, any, even kids can understand VPN. And like he says, statistics tells us the biggest issue children's face is in their home, not with some internet or shit like that or TV or something. Oh, GTA 5, G Grand Theft Auto is the problem. No, it's not, right? First of all, your kids shouldn't play Grand Theft Auto to begin with. This is your job to see that, right? And, you know, you have to create parental controls with your internet computer, anything your kid uses. It's not government's job to block everything. Your personal details and stop worrying. Porn sites have some of the best security on the planet. Better than Habbo Hotel, probably. So it's very unlikely that your favorite smut site will get hacked or compromised and leak all of your personal information that could then be used to blackmail you in the future. However, if you're still unconvinced and don't want to put your safety in the hands of your infallible government, there is an alternative an express alternative express VPN. Because they're very good. Use my link and you get three months of ExpressVPN for free. And if you're not satisfied, you can refund the whole... Yeah, <clears throat> it was being sarcastic, by the way. You can definitely get hacked on, you know, porn website and governments are not reliable, basically. I like that. <laughs> uh, people from ExpressVPN probably saw that and like, oh, what the fuck, where is he going? That was, oh, wait a minute, he was being sarcastic. All right. So yeah, God, God Hand Review is an incredible fucking game so far. I love the fighting stars. I love the growling. So you level down. Otherwise, everybody just beat the shit out of you. I like the fact that they don't just raise the damage output and health and that's it. That's your enemy higher level. I hate that shit. That's why lots of games, I don't play it harder difficulty. Because it just makes it unrealistic, right? But, you know, enemies become bullet sponge and shit like that. I hate that. But yeah, if it actually becomes a proper heart, like AI is better, right? They're dodging moves you better, right? They're hitting you better way rather than just being, you know, I guess, damaged sponges. This is better. So that's how God Hand is. I love the groveling system, like I said. It just makes you feel like, oh yeah, look at that. You, you, you know, you ain't shit. So it basically gives you incentive to get better because now it, you're kind of emotionally like, what the fuck? Did the game made me feel shitty by groveling? No, I have to be better than this. <laughs> Hi, people. If you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the reaction. There's a link in the description. Check out the cards. Check out the cards. See you next time.